Hi everyone, my name is Tammy Byrne and I'm the coordinator of CBU's Writing Center, which is a support service that helps students improve their writing skills and build confidence as writers. Today I want to offer you five quick tips for writing effective assignments in university. First, know the expectations for the assignments you're writing. You'll be given assignment instructions and you'll want to read and reread these. Go through them carefully. Ask any questions you might need to to clarify what is being asked of you. Part of this involves thinking through what type of writing you've been asked to produce. So uh, a research essay will look very different from a lab report or uh, a short response. Also, you want to make sure that you know how to properly cite any information you've learned from other sources in your paper. This is a very important part of completing your work with academic integrity. You can produce an excellent piece of writing, but if you haven't followed the instructions and produced what is expected, it won't be a successful assignment. Second, know that a lot of the work of writing doesn't actually involve putting words to paper. Tasks like thinking, researching, note-taking, Reading and rereading things again are all important aspects of the writing process. They all take time and effort, and they're to be expected. They're really important parts of figuring out what you want to say and uh, executing, putting your ideas onto a page. So take heart and plan for that, and don't feel as though just because you're not putting words down on paper that you're not making progress towards writing your assignment. Third, make an outline. An outline organizes all of your reading and thinking, and it can act as a roadmap to help keep you focused on the writing you're doing. Most of the time, you won't be asked to submit your outline. It's just for you. So it can be as simple as a few bullet points, or it can be more expanded with uh, lots of notes. It's for you, and it's to help guide you as you uh, work through what you're writing. Uh, so the key here is to have a plan for what you're writing before you begin, and that will make the writing itself much easier. Fourth, always leave yourself time after you've written your first draft to revise and proofread what you've written. Just as so much of the work of writing should happen before you put words uh, to paper, also uh, so much of the work of good writing happens after you've gotten those words on paper. Your first draft should not be the one you submit. First, you should revise what you've written. That means you should look through it for things uh, to move around, things to add, things to delete, ways to strengthen the content uh, in any way you see fit. And before you submit the paper, your last step should be to proofread it. So once you're happy with the content, then you want to read your paper looking for errors like grammatical errors, or spelling errors. So this is a fine tuning stage once you're happy with what's there. Then you can submit your paper. Five, know that support is available and use it. You aren't expected to begin uh, your university studies uh, as an expert writer or even to have mastered writing in your second or third year or even uh, in your final year of study. Uh, it's over the course of your studies that with effort and practice and guidance that you'll become a stronger writer, a more confident writer. And one of the best things you can do is to seek out guidance and feedback from your instructors and the writing advisors at the, writings, uh, at the writing center at any stage of your writing uh, to help you build your skills and your confidence. And on that note, uh, I hope to see you in the writing center in the fall. Uh, and thanks for watching today.